Hello everybody, welcome to Gary the Gamer channel. My name is Garrett and welcome to my channel. Today we're playing a game kind of interesting. I have to actually start from here because it starts it up automatically. We're playing is One Shot World Machine Edition. This game is kind of an interesting one. Um, it is made by the developer called Future Cat LLC and the publisher is Komu, Komodo, K-O-M-O-D-O. It's a story rich, pixel graphics, great soundtrack, indie. This is the stuff off of their Steam page if you want to buy it off of Steam. I'm playing this off of the Switch since it is World Machine Edition. It pretty sure that's exclusively for the Switch. I think. Uh it's either Switch or it's Hold on, hold on. I got nowhere. All right. It's, it's basically we're going to be playing inside of a computer. So we're on a console playing on a computer. It's 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 a weird a weird uh, way to say things. Okay, hello there. Thank you for installing this operating system. I know you were probably expecting a game, but dot 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 Apologies, I'm still setting up, setting things up here. In the meantime, why don't I show you how the system works? First, use the R to move the cursor. Okay. Press and hold ZR and drag with move icon. I want my documents. No, I don't want it up there. <sighs> Press and hold the window bar with ZR and drag with R to move windows. Click the hide button to hide the window. Of course, well, this is literally every single... <laughs> okay, it's down there now. Click the window on the taskbar to bring it back up again. Uh-huh. Click the close button to close the window, but why not the games? Excellent work. Now you know how to navigate the interface. Uh-huh. Ah, and just in time, too. Okay. What are we doing? There we go. Everything should be ready for you. But I want to drag it. I'll leave you to it then. Goodbye for now. Oh, whoa. There's more uh, more stuff. We got a customizer, right? Okay, what do we got here? Brightness. Dude, that changes everything right there. That's bright. We'll put it to like 120. Resolution. Brother, we got 1080p. Wait, how high can we go up? Uh, it's only 1080p. Of course we're going 1080p. Now this looks like my desktop. Okay, we got purple. Only purple. Touch screen input. Off. You wallpaper? That's it? Change language. Uh, you know, no, 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 we're not changing language. Okay. Now I got to drag my icons further. Okay. Customize. Themes got to be right next to customize. Wallpaper need to be low theme. What's theme? Only purple. It's basically what we have. What's the wallpaper? Is it wallpaper? Oh, wait, hold on here. Baron Craters. Let's see how that looks. Interesting. Lynn Shores, Shorelines. Oh, oh, um, maybe not that one. Messiah. Okay, my burden is light. Asteroid. If you guys didn't know, but this is the main character of this game. I don't know why there's a blank. Of course, we're going to do world world machine. Okay. Now, since we got that all taken care of. 
What's my games? One shot? Wait, what? Uh. Okay, let's start the game. We're like five minutes in, let's start it. Ooh, there's a music box. Should we full screen this? Of course we do, right? Who doesn't? Oh my goodness, this is gonna be very difficult. I'm gonna I'm... Uh let's go walk, color blind mode off, control and vibration on, screen tear effects on. This is basically sync. Um nothing else really. Let's start. Damon A cancel B walk. Oh, well, left stick. Walk faster is hold down Y. Menu plus an inventory is X. Gameplay. Explore and interact with the environment and characters. Sometimes you may find an item. Once you have picked up an item, you may select it from your inventory. When the item is active, you can either combine it with other items in the inventory or use it at certain locations in order to progress. Other. Closing the game window will save your progress. This game also saves after some key events. Oh, there we go. Dot, dot, dot. Hello? That might be my bad, but I also might need to turn down the volume for you guys. Uh, hold on. Actually, no, you know what? I'm just going to keep it there. I can always do it in the, in the editing process afterwards. What is this? There's a TV remote here. Nico picks it up. So the main character is Nico. Dusty books. It's too dark to read in there. Input password. I don't know the password. Access denied. Door is locked. But the window doesn't look like a window. Oh, well, no, it does, actually. A soft glowing tr light trickles through the window. Oh, but there's something over here. Door locked. Too dark to read in here. Well, there's this light over here. We can move the books over there. Oh. Hold on. No. I bet you something's on the on the remote. What was it? Examine select. But I want to examine it. Hold on. There we go. All the numbers except 2170 are missing. 2170. 2170. Oh, no, no, no. I'm a dunce. It's color coordinated for a reason. The so two is green. Two is green. Zero is red. I'm pretty sure one is here. And this would be seven? No, this is one. This is seven. Yeah. Whoa, it's a Catherine 2 monitor. Oh, gosh. Never seen one of those in a while. You found me. Why? You're already too late. Not much of the world remains. This will be apparent once you go outside. This place was never worth saving. You still want to try? Then remember this. Your actions here will affect Nico. Your mission is to help Nico live. And most importantly, you only have one shot, Garrett. Hold on, hold on. 
What does that mean? Huh? Why, why did it do this? Do I have to shut? I think I do, huh? Uh... Game? I only have one shot. Do I have to click this? Oh, wait, hold on. Do I... What do I do with this? What do I do? What do I do? Where do I go? Okay, Garrett, calm down. I can't click it. I can't full screen. I can't minimize. Did the game just crash? Uh. Help. Uh. Game? <laughs> it's not the game. It's the game game. It's not the. I. Wait, what? <laughs> I did ZR on it. Okay, that uh... full screen. I can't see. There we go. What the heck? It won't turn on. I couldn't catch what it said. Is this a minute? Is this the? Okay. Okay, this is now opened? Hello? Anyone? Let me uh, do this. There we go. The TV gives off a dangerous looking spark. Okay, I kind of understand the controls now. A little bit. So A is inside the game here, but Z ZR is inside of the computer. It's weird. <laughs> I'm actually going to turn it down because I just remembered. I don't think I can it that was not turning it down now that's turning it down i don't know why. uh sorry about that <clears throat> the wood in the fireplace looks like it was never used perhaps it could be lit Inside the refrigerator is a bottle of alcohol. Nico takes it. The sink won't turn on. Okay, we got alcohol. Uh, it's not the best idea to have alcohol. What was, are we going to make like uh, Molotovs or something? Ooh. Bottle of alcohol. I need to lit it. Oh, oh, hold on. The smell of the, the liquid is repugnant. Yeah, you're telling me. But I need a. I, what do I do with the alcohol? Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. The sink won't turn on. This should be easy, right? Do I go back? No. Is this room over here open? It is. The withered plant sits here stiff and dry. A branch snaps off. And we just picked up a dry branch. A pair of luminous yellow eyes stares back at Nico. There's no water in the toilet. The tub won't run. So we have this. We don't need the bottle of alcohol. Wait, what? Hey, wait, hold on here. Uh, ready's the branch. Ah, we got blue fire. PK fire. Something on the ground glimmers in the firelight. It appears to be a small metallic object wedged into a crack in the floor. Nico digs it out. 
Yes, I'm getting closer to the microphone. You guys didn't tell. So we got a basement key. And where does the basement key go to? The door that I hope it goes to the basement. No. Wait, wait, wait. I'm supposed to know the basement's to the right? What the? The music's getting even more deeper. Let me turn it down a little bit more for you guys. There we go. That should be better. Just trying to get a drink of water here real quick. I see the light bulb. What do you want me to do with the light bulb? Oh my eyes! <laughs> oh, I'm in somewhat of in a dark room. Uh oh. Oh, okay. So, Nico, what do you want me to do with this light bulb? Oh, I put it in this thingy. Hold on, do I have to? Yeah, I have to bring it out. Warner brother. So far so good. 17 minutes in. Do I have to move? I do. Okay, Nico, where do we go? It looks like there's a way to the right. No. That is not a way. These electronics seem a bit weird. Hey, Nico, what do we see? What's left of a robot? A robot, it no longer has power. What's left of a robot, once again. I'm assuming just follow the train tracks. I feel like this is very explorational. Oh gosh. Fast travel. You can quickly travel to the locations you have already visited by selecting the, the fast travel option in the menu. You can open the menu with the plus button. Fast travel cannot be used indoors. Well, that makes sense. Why would it be used <laughs> indoors? Left of a robot. Oh, oh. Who in the blockhead is that? <clears throat> ah. That light bulb. You're, you are here. Me? Yes. Welcome to our world, friend. I am the most humbled by your presence. Yes. <coughs> oh, gosh. Excuse me. Uh, thanks. Puzzled. Sorry. I, I'm, I'm a little lost. Ah, right. Allow me to explain some things. May I first ask how you arrived here? I'm not sure. I woke up in this weird house. It was really dark. Oh, so you woke up in an unfamiliar dark location? Mm-hmm. Just as my prophecy foretold, yes. You are the savior we have been waiting for. You will be the one to save our world from eternal darkness. Um, I will now provide you with vital information. Please ask me anything. Ah, well. Can you tell me about this world, the light bulb, the computer, going home? 
this world. I'm not sure where I am exactly. I can't see too far off. Everything's so dark. Our world was not always this dim, nor was it so broken. But time waits for nobody, even not even saviors. The world is divided into three regions. You're on the fringe right now, the barons. That tower you see in the distance once held our sun. Oh, so that's what the tall thing was. As you can, as you go further towards the center, you will cross the other regions. There should be a map still in this outpost somewhere. Oh, can you tell me about this light bulb? I found it in the house I woke up in. Within your hands is our new sun. Your sun? <laughs> Excuse me? Yes. Years ago, our previous sun sat atop that tower and spilled its life into the land. But one day, the light went out. Oh, the, the world is still hanging on, on by a thread. The surface of this world is abundant with an element called phosphor. Fortunately for us, this element stored light energy from our previous sun. It's now our only sor source of illumination, but its fi energy is finite. When the last of the light, one, the light ones, the light dies, our world will too. Ah, but now that you are here with the new sun, all is well. You will need to restore it to the tower. That looks pretty far off. Yes, so begin. So begins your pilgrimage. Also, the sun is fragile, so be careful. If the sun shatters, the world will end in an instant. Oh, can you tell me about the computer? In the house, I found this computer. It kept saying stuff like, your actions will here will affect Nico. But I'm Nico. Are those messages meant for someone else? Hmm. If I had to guess, they might be trying to pass the message to Garrett. Garrett? Ah, th that would be our... What? <laughs> no. No, I'm a human. If you are here, that means Garrett is here also. Garrett will provide guidance for your journey. In fact, they already have. Really? I haven't seen anyone though. Have you not contacted Garrett yet? I don't think so. Being the bringer of our son, you have the sacred ability to communicate directly with Garrett. An ability that no one else possesses. Possesses? Certainly not I. Please close your eyes and focus. All right. Well, let me get this straight. We're supposed to, this is supposed to be like a, a break in the fourth wall. Hello? Garrett, are you there? That is not my name. <laughs> yes. Oh, n nice to meet you, Garrett. My name is Nico. I actually heard someone. They said their name is Garrett. This is incredible. Do not be afraid to ask Garrett for assistance. You are the messiah after all. Sure. Let's go with that. Going home. Oh, I don't mean to be rude, but I, I'm i not sure about this. I still don't know how I got here. I was just with my mama a few hours ago, and now it feels like I'm in a bad dream. I just want to go home. Your mission is to save our world, just as my mission is to tell you about our world. I am unable to help you beyond my programming. I am sorry. Oh. I think that's all I have to ask for now. Excellent. I wish you luck. What is this? Do you see this weird glowing thing floating here? I wanted to pick it up, but my hand just went right through the whole thing. Oh, maybe it's like a hologram. I've seen that in a cartoon once. Wait, there's a note on it? Occasionally, you may find special artifacts such as these scattered throughout this world. As these artifacts do not physically exist in this world, Nico will be unable to make use of them. However, your powers extend beyond Nico's, so why don't you try picking it up? I can't. <laughs> physically, I can't. I only have Nico, and Nico only has me, apparently. 
This box looks interesting. I wish I had something to pry it open with. Self-charging solar battery model N87. One year warranty included. Simply place your self-charging battery in full daylight with the lens facing up. Charges in seconds. No external power is needed. Troubleshooting manual. If the battery fails to charge, check to see if the lens on the front side has not been dislodged during transport. One charge cycle will last about 10 days. If you notice a decline in the charge cycle within the warranty period, please contact the fit manufacturer. A robot may not injure a living person or through inaction allowing a person to come to harm. A robot must obey the orders given to it by people, except where such orders would conflict with the first law. A robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. That's a lot of words. Map of the world. There's a tower in the middle. We got refuge. We got Glen, and we got barons. Interesting. So I have played Earthbound before. And the only reason why I bring this up is because this feels so similar to Earthbound in a lot of ways. A robot, it seems to be okay, just doesn't have power. I'm pretty sure the obvious choice is to talk to the machine, but I'm not doing so. The use of a robot has a replacement head engineer seems unorthodox, especially the one responsible for last year's incident. I suppose they had to get her away from the city, but that doesn't make it easier to swallow for those of us who work here. I hope that man knows what he's doing. Management. My goodness, there's a lot of notes around this facility. It's a faded poster. Five new positions available at the mines. Housing and other provisions are included upon hiring. First come, first serve. There's a lot of detail. A lot of detail. It's a faded poster. Reminder to all workers. The rarest form of blue phosphor is found during the phosphor shrimps spawn period. If you observe a pond with a bubbled over surface, please contact management immediately. We will dispatch the harvest team ASAP. So what exactly does this facility do? A robot without power. There's a lot more to this. Hold on, let me go talk to that uh, machine. I was like, is th that's probably like some kind of back alley or something. I'm not back out. I'm more like a storage area. It won't turn on. Of course it won't. There's no power, apparently. You see this weird glowing thing floating? I wanted to pick it up. My hand just went right through the whole thing. Maybe it's just like a hologram. Occasionally made blah, 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 blah. Page with faded ink. Able to provide power to all robots and machinery in the area via a large electromagnetic magnetic field. Maintenance efforts are quite high as expected. We have provided customized backup cells for the few most important robots. Their electromagnetic fields are much weaker and the signals are highly specific. In other words, these small cells can only charge one single. The rest of the page is unreadable. So that's to charge the, the, the battery. There are a lot of small glowing shrimps swimming in the jar. Pick it up, pick it up. Sort of machine? I wonder what it does. I can feel my hair standing up a little. That's a big machine. It doesn't seem to be doing anything though. There's a rectangle, rect rectangle shaped hole in the middle. Looks like something used to fit in here. So we're supposed to get that battery inside the box, but in order to get the box to open, we need a crowbar. So, well, something to pry it open, which I'm assuming it's a crowbar. Gotta remember that. Is this like a mini city over here? Or another factory? 
I thought the ma the mine cart would would get me in there, the rail cart. All right, let's check out this facility. Looks like a factory. A robot sitting on the conveyor belt. Doesn't seem to have power. I can't go this way. A robot does. It seems to be okay, just doesn't have power. I'm assuming all the robots are like that in this. There's only one on this side. Yeah, it's saying the same thing. Is this where they make robots? Nothing over there. Oh, there's a press. Oh, this machine is still running. Maybe I should stand, shouldn't stand so close to it. What if my scarf got caught in there and then it'll pull me in and not going to finish that sentence. <laughs> Best not to. So we got a little crusher thingy in here. All these things will make sense. I just don't know how they would make sense. Okay, we're going to another area. Sparkly pool. Can we go up there? Oh, we can. Oh, something sparkly. But I want it. Oh, maybe that's a shrimp. Apparently there's prawns in that water. Definitely an interesting idea, though. Like, the whole concept that you're playing this off of a Cathy Ray 2 monitor. It just feels so weird. So, the minecarts go up there. I've got to take the side paths first. Can't go down. Ooh, what is that? What is that? Something I can pick up? No. It looks like there's like this replayability or that's supposed to be used for specific things. I saw a note down there. Let's see if we could try getting that note. Some weird lands we're in right now. Oh, there's a machine down there now. The sun will not return and the abyss is calling my name. I'm sorry, everyone, for choosing to leave before the darkness suffocates us all. That sounds like a suicide-like note. Oh my goodness. I didn't think that was going to be in this game. I want to see what that machine does. I have to go back to go see. Metal safe. Seems like it's locked with a six-digit code. I don't remember seeing any six-digit co codes. Do you, Garrett? That wasn't it. Well, I hope not. That would be way too easy. That must... The sitch... The sitch... Sitch... The six-digit code is probably somewhere up here. I have to make a guess. It's got to be somewhere up here. Knowing a bit of of uh, a torn page with faded ink. With the mining operations going smoothly, materials are no longer our limiting factor. We will be able to build more resilient robots, both in mind and body. Yeah, sure. Uh, <clears throat> specifically, the discovery of metal alloy 291 will likely allow the development of highly efficient circuitry. I remember the code 291. That's three digits. I'm assuming that's going to be part of this code. It's to the right over here. What in the world? Where are we going? What is this? A robot? No power, just like the rest. I'm assuming that robot's gonna be something special. 
So thus, I think I've gone too far. The house here, what? The light bulb. So are you the Messiah? That's what I've been told. I expected someone taller. Wow, judgmental over here. Or at least someone that doesn't look like a kitten. That's what you are, right? Some sort of cat. Nuh-uh. I'm a person. You got the eyes of a cat. But cats walk on four legs. Well, either way, a child like you being the messiah just doesn't feel right. But that robot back there says there's no mistake. I, I know. Ah. <sighs> This is going to sound cold, but I honestly think you are better off just leaving and letting the world die naturally. The world has been falling apart for a long time. This manner of decay, it's highly improbable that the sun could fix it. You've already seen how bad it can get, right? We haven't seen much of anything, actually. And we can't really just leave. Oh, so you just got here? Then you must be headed towards the tower. Mm-hmm. It's where I'm supposed to put... Supp supposed... Supposed to put the light bulb, or er, sun, in, in... Isn't it? Yes, at the very top. We know that the tower contains a force that nobody could comprehend. And the power is strong, strongest at the summit. Maybe it will send you back home after you complete your mission? Oh. Don't take my word for it, though. What's this for? There's Silver. I heard the news about the mines. I'm sorry, I can't imagine what you're feeling. It's been two weeks. I know it must be hard, but maybe it's better that you came back. It's only a matter of time before the robots are recalled. At least let me know you... Okay got my message okay fine kip please do not touch that oh sorry i got curious what is this thing backup power cell it keeps me me functional the main generator for the barons ran out of power some time ago it could not even last a week without the sun sorry to hear that all we can do is make use of the light we have wait a minute hold on i thought that it's been like a long time, as what the robot says, that the sun went down. Now you're telling me that the sun went down really not too long ago. Something is poking out of from this shelf. Ah, it's a screwdriver. You can take it if you want. It may help you. Oh, are you sure? Yes, I have many. Thank you. Phillips head. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time in here. So we got a screwdriver. We got the code 291. What's this over here? Wait. I saw you heading towards this direction. The mines have been abandoned for a long time. I cannot guarantee that it's safe. If you must enter it, it is my duty to accompany you at least once. Oh, thanks. What is this? There's a little gadget on the ground. It looks kind of like a camera. What's left of a camera, anyway? Probably even part of a robot at one point. Oh. Or not. I don't know. Got part of a camera? A broken camera with a large screwed-in lens. Ouch. I can see a faint glow, yellow glow in the distance. Don't stand so close to the edge. Oh, sorry. Looks like even the entrance tunnel collapsed off. Without a vehicle, we can't pr proceed. Can't, can't we walk? I can. But y for you, it's a safety violation. I won't allow it. What's ahead anyway? It's a huge network of underground mines, the source of this world's metal and non-phosphor fuel. This is what propelled the world into the industrial age. So now it's lost forever? 
It's been for a while now. When the sun went out, the mines were the first to be abandoned amidst the initial panic. Even the robots have been all cleared out and repurposed. That makes sense. Though there was one that always insisted on going back. Oh? I hope he's okay. Another one of those shrimp jars. Anything this way? No. Okay, let's head out. Ready to leave? Yes. Absolutely. So... The mine's to the right. Her house is there. This must be the robot that... Must be very insistent in the mines. I gotta walk... And try to figure out this code. I feel like once we get this code, I bet you there's a crowbar in there. I just bet you. The code's probably up here because I'm pretty sure I split everything below me. We got 291. And what else? Garrett, there's something in the air here. It hurts to breathe. Well, we can't go there. Maybe there's something I did miss. probably did. There was that note to the right. Now let's think about this. So 291 is the code to the right. What did this other one say? Besides that it wanted to, the person wanted to like jump ship. Wait a minute. No, I believe that was a two digit code though. It was the model for the, uh, the robots, but I'm pretty sure that was just a code. Not really code, but it's just the model number. So 291. 291 something else. I guess we'll explore more down below. Because we didn't really explore all the way down here. I kind of want to explore it. Ooh, wait, hold on. What is this? Although the poisonous gas is highly localized to the vent zones, Baron's workers were still recommended to wear gas masks. These masks were mandatory around active vent sites, of course. As more and more of the workforce got replaced by robots, we found ourselves with a surplus of abandoned gas masks. It seemed like a waste to get rid of them all, so we kept a few for emergencies. A gas mask that has my name on it. That's all I got out of it. Oh, I may need a gas mask to do... Do that top area up there. Okay, I'm gonna go back. Maybe inside of the chest is the gas mask. I mean, the, the locker. So there was a book back in the first area. I could teleport. But on the other hand, I'm like, eh. We're just around the corner. So there was a book in here. Where was it? I believe it's this one. In 8-7. That's an N, that's not a number. There was, was there anything above 
the the main area that we were at like the first area I'm gonna hug this left side there's the main area the robot there keeps going up Okay, we go to another area. Not a bridge? Oh no. It's not a bridge. I was thinking it was a bridge, but it's not. It's just so weird seeing a mouse when I'm using a when I'm using a controller. Anything above this before we go inside this house? I like to explore all my options. Nothing up there. So I feel like this house is going to be key to what I need to do next. Okay, there's more above, and we can't go there. Okay, so this feels like a Metroid type of game, right? Where you can't go to a, a, an area because you have to unlock a certain item to get into that said area. There's a bed. I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? I guess. Whoa, <laughs> it closed it all out. Okay, that's what happens. First of all. Gallery and music box right there. Hey, Nico, let's do this thing. Nico? Girl? What happened? Garrett, are you still there? Yes. Ah, I'm awake. I had a dream just now. I saw. You did? Wow. I... I really thought I was back home. Oh, the sun back in my home world isn't a light bulb. It's a big ball of fire in the sky. I don't think I would be able to hold it like I do with the sun from your world. This isn't my world. Huh? This isn't the world I live in. Really? Ah, I guess not. If you're the... <laughs> of this world, you wouldn't necessarily be in it. What's your home world called? That's a secret. I see. Does your world have a sun? Yes, it's also called a bo ball of fire. I can't tell you that. Oh. The sun in my home world is very bright. Warm, too. You saw, right? But it goes away sometimes at night. Everything gets dark, kind of like how this world is now. But it's okay because the sun always comes back the next day. That's good, don't you think? My world is like that, too. Ah, do you sleep during the night? We go to sleep usually, but some people stay up and use computers. I don't have to explain what they they are, do I? There's a bunch of them in this world. Anyway, we should probably get going. Now you're telling me, breaking the fourth wall here. It's a metal pipe. Must have broken off from one of those terminals. Machines look like computers. What is going on? So we got is... It weighs surprisingly little. Can't combine them two. Wait, can I use the screwdriver on the camera? To pull the lens out? Okay. Done. So we got lens. 
Can't combine those two. Can I combine the empty bottle with it? No. Wait, what? I'm not gonna smash the bottle. Fair point. So we got a lens. We got a metal pipe. Metal pipe could be used to be as a crowbar. Let's try that out. I'm liking this game a lot so far. It's, it's an interesting game for sure. I was not expecting an RPG for that matter, but here we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to go to another area. Let's open up a box. It's that or we're going to be busting it wide open with it. The pipe won't fit under the cracks. We'll need to flatten it somehow. Flatten it? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I get you, I get you. So we go to the other area, the other building, and we flatten this, this metal pipe, and then we use that for this. I just love how, how when games work, not, not when games work, but when you figure out something works and such, it's the most satisfying feeling. Ah, do you want me to crush the pipe in here, Garrett? Oh, but I don't want to get too close. That was scary. We got a crowbar. Makeshift crowbar made for from a pipe. Let's go turn this machine on. Well, factory. And then the machine as well, because there's a computer in there. I'm understanding what we're supposed to do. It's just giving me some time to try to figure it out. This bar should open it. There's a little metal cube and some broken glass in here. Looks like what used to be a machine part. It says solar battery on the side. Apparently a battery. It has some broken glass in it. The lens popped right in. An intact rechargeable battery currently empty. Self-charging battery in a, f in a full daylight with the lens facing up. We're using the sun directly on the battery. I would have never thought of that. Good thinking. Ah, looks like it's already fully charged. That was fast. Working rechargeable battery, maximum power. I had a feeling that was what we're supposed to do. It's a bit weird. <laughs> kind of like it. You know, I kind of like this game. It's a fun game. Let's use charge battery. Let's hope the charge battery does something. Whoa. Okay, everything should be working now. Let's let's see what this is. The power cell, I think. Oh, the word uh, profit bot is written on the side. Didn't realize didn't notice that earlier. Okay, let's see what's going on. I am functional. Did you power the generator? I guess we did right Garrett start up this machine I see you've made progress in this world but that progress stops here I believe that you need a code to unlock a certain box well the code no longer exists in this world do, do you understand what this means Garrett Yes, good. Start looking. I like how it shows the exact time of the day it is. 
This must be using the, the time from the... From the uh, switch. Okay, so... I'm looking for a code. We got gallery. Is this supposed to be some kind of slideshow? So this is all of like the pictures inside the game so far. I'm assuming that the number I'm looking for is here, right? Read me text. Permanent consequences. Wait a minute. This is a uh, choose your path, choose your adventure. Interesting. Some features and capabilities of one shot are not typical of games in general. Do not be alarmed. It's all part of the game. However, if you are very paranoid and or sensitive to depictions of eyes or darkness, please proceed with caution. Policy on video streams and framework. As long as credit is given, videos, streams, and fan works are welcomed and encouraged. Ah, oh, not a problem. Of course, it's always in the link in the description below if you do want to go check out this game, by the by. A message, no, message to you, and I'm afraid I must make it brief. I have left you a journal, part of which is written in a language that... I'm assuming this says read it and you will know what to do. I have also What kind of language is this? Your code you need is <gasps> Oh, we got it. 8041111 I think I'm going to put in the link description, though, is the uh, website for this game specifically, not the well. Yeah, I'll do that instead. If you do want to go pick it up on this on Switch. It is on Nintendo's store. Um, I'm pretty sure it's like. Twenty dollars. I can go look it up real quick, but I'm pretty sure it's twenty dollars. Nope. Eight. Oh, four. One, one, one. Whoa, it worked. Wait, how did you know the code, Garrett? Just a guess. I still don't remember seeing one. I had some... <laughs> I have my ways, yes. Fifteen dollars. It's fifteen dollars on on uh, Switch. I don't know why I thought it was twenty. I guess normally when I see like games like this, I think twenty dollars is is like acceptable. I would say. I I see. What's in the save, Nico? Oh right. Let's see. Ah, I found a gas mask. Also, there's this weird looking book. I can't read it though. Not that I can't read or anything, because I can. I just don't know what language this is. Let me see it. Found in the Barrens, it's written in an unknown language. A mask used to filter air for breathing. I'll wear it when I have to. What is that? Um, we go around. I think I'm breaking the world, guys. Oh, 
Oh, wait, hold on. Am I supposed to use the, the thingy on that? I don't know why I walked all the way around then. I'm assuming I used the journal on it. Uh, it's not that. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Strange journal. I'm going to go up here. We're going to use that gas mask. I'm going to ignore what we saw down there. I'm assuming this gas mask is going to be very useful. I should be fine with this mask on. Weird look for you. There's a lot to look at over here. I like exploration games. They're very good. Nothing so far. Oh, oh, oh. What is this? It's a pair of rubber gloves. They're a bit heavy. Hello, person. The robot assembly and repair services have been discontinued at the Barrens. If you have further inquiry, please contact the head engineer. This seems to be a page ripped out of a book. Cannot overstate the importance of cleaning solvents in this environment. Here is a simple recipe using the alternative method discussed in the last chapter, utilizing the natural properties of blue phosphor. Regents, acidic gas, blue phosphor, rare form. Instructions, one in a well-ventilated area, direct the gas into your container of choice, seal immediately. That's the end of the page. Hello, person. Welcome to the old chemical processing plant. Most of the equipment has already been re re relocated. Relocated where? The door is all boarded up. The boards seem loose, though. I should be able to pull them off with the right tool. Crowbar, anyone? Good thing I kept this crowbar. What a workout. That's a lot of robots. What does the note say? Wait, hold on. What is this? A cleaning sponge with a rough surface, AKA an abrasive sponge. A flat sponge with a rough surface. This seems to be a page ripped out of a book. Two, without breaking the seal, inject the liquid phosphor into the container. Three, shake vigorously to initiate the reaction. Four, use as soon as possible. Note, if elements begin to separate, further shaking is required. Also note, hand protection is critical after this step. The resulting acid is moderately stronger than common household cleaners. I don't know what half of these words mean. It's a good thing you're here, Garrett. We're in a cleaning solvent area, like cleaning re regents. It's a big metal box with complicated machinery inside. I'm not entirely sure. Wait, hold on. What is this? This robot looks kind of rusty. It does, doesn't it? Bunch of robots without power. I guess the generator can only do so much. It's quite true. This game fascinates me. I just want to look at everything. This is basically similar to how I would do in Earthbound. Just look at everything before going to the next area. There's something weird about the robots who get sent to work near the gas fields. They appear to accumulate rust at a much slower rate than the others. 
The few who work directly with gas harvesting look practically new. Is that a result of the atmosphere or am I just seeing things? So weird seeing Nico with a gas mask on. Does this, wait, hold on. Where am I at now? Hold on. The, the sea is glimmering. Uh, oh, hello? What are you doing here? Hmm? A living person such as yourself should have evacuated this place long ago. Oh, but I just got here. To this world, I mean. See? I have the sun. Oh, the messiah. I do not know what to say. Reading you was not part of my programming. Have you spoken to ProfitBot? I think so, yeah? ProfitBot was built with the sole purpose of greeting you. Really? Yes, he cannot speak with anyone else. At least, not with these. Oh, that's kind of sad. What are you built for then? My purpose is to guard this settlement. Even though the residents have long gone, I must remain. Ah, why though? I have not been tamed. Tamed? <laughs> was he a beast? It was not worth the effort. I'm with you too, Nico. I'm with you too. What? <laughs> we got more notes. We got this thingy. But, you know what? We're going to end the, the recording right now. Um, it's been gone for about an hour. Let's see if I can try saving this. It said that it saves when I close, right? It's actually record your progress in this world. Okay. Return to, to this world again. You need to relaunch the application. Oh my goodness. They really want you. Proceed. Yes. My goodness. This game's kind of fun. Um, let's see if we got anything new stuff in here. My gallery themes. Themes are still purple. Wish that we get a different color. We still have the same wallpapers. Customize. There's nothing else to customize. All right. So that's going to do it for today, guys and gals. Thank you all for watching this live stream. Back to this, no, not live stream. <laughs> this video. And if you do want to see more of this, consider that subscribe button, follow button, the, the, fa, la, 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 the like button as well. If you do want to come, and not come. I'm just used to live streaming, you know? It's it's just a habit of mine. Um, also, I wanted to point out when this game came out. I know that this game specifically, the World Machine Edition, came out last year. Um, it was one of the one of the game the few games that I wanted to play. For the uh, Indie Fall last year, it says 20. No, it's not 2021. 2016 is when this game came out originally. It's on Steam for like 10 bucks. You want to go check that out? Um, for it on Switch. Hold on, hold on. When did it come out on Switch? It came out last year. Uh, September 22nd. Yeah, it's been about a year. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's publisher's Danjin Entertainment. Oh, yeah. At least on the Switch it is. This game's fun. I highly recommend to buy it. It's 15 bucks right now. But when you get it, if you get it, you know, if you can get it on sale, I mean, I've, I've been hearing... I've been hearing about Unity and stuff like that, but this game doesn't seem like it's fr that Unity engine's involved with it. So, I mean, it's it's perfectly fine, I guess. Uh, I highly recommend picking this up if you have not yet and uh, give it a try yourself. It's a fun game. I'm I'm going to be playing this game probably later on this year, probably after Indie Fall. But that's going to be it. Thank you all for watching this video, and I'll see you next time on One Shot World Machine Edition, which... It took me a while to figure that one out. Anyways, God bless you all.